Preformationism. Don't think about that too hard right now. First we're thinking about microscope, then we're thinking about petit l'enfant, and then we're thinking about thinning all the way down. Microscope Oh, you invented... are considerably more intellectual than I am. <laughs> um, so, microscopes were invented in about 1590 by apparently a Dutch father and son team, although there is some dispute over that. Uh, Dutch people had been making lenses for a while. For a while they were a bit crap. I've got an image for you here um, of a pretty fancy looking microscope. Yeah, it's beautiful. Until, and, yeah. yeah. But some of the, I highly encourage you to Google really early microscopes. There's some great things going on with screws, people trying to figure out, like, what direction to put things in. Very cute stuff. Very Question. super fun. Question. Yeah. When did they put the pretty colours and patterns in it? Like, on the, when did they start making Like, when you, like, pretty? hold it up and, like, look through it. And yeah, when you hold it up and look through oh, it, oh, like a kaleidoscope. Like and and stuff. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, are they not the same thing? Unfortunately, not. But you oh. see some, like again, for a while there was like there were pretty colours and patterns if you look through, just because of aberrations on the lenses. Um, anyway, what do you do with a microscope? This is relatively recent microscope. You can see stuff real clear. Wow. Any guesses as to what's in that image? What else one might is it one might want to look at with a microscope? Bacteria. Any offers any bit? Bacteria. Is it sperm? That's not sperm. That's not sperm, but holds that thought. Oh. Sperm. Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's the deal. Uh if there was, like, one of the early great my, my microscopists, uh, a man named Anton van Leeuwenhoek, maybe. Um, Is that what they're called? Are they called microscopists? Microscopists? Something my, along micro, those lines. My, yeah. Microscopists. Microscopists. Mm. Anyway, so this guy was doing some great stuff with the microscope in the, like, in the way of science from about 1675. Couple of years of really solid work looking at insects up close, looking at um, bacteria. Published some really interesting, useful research. His colleagues thought that it would be a really good idea to look at semen under the microscope, but he held off for a couple of years because that's some embarrassing shit. Surely that's really the first to. thing you look at. Is I was going to say, the first thing you do is... You Maybe it's the first yeah, thing you The first you thing you do is you but... wank onto a dish and look <laughs> at the dish. <laughs> exactly. Um, he didn't for about two years. Or maybe he did, but he didn't tell anyone. Um, a couple of years later, he did that and discovered that it's not just a liquid. You know, there's stuff in there. Um, there's little wiggly bits. So Imagine being the first person to discover that. To discover stuff. I was just thinking that. Like, imagine... Imagine sitting there, you're sitting there, you're you're a scientist, you've yeah. got this wonderful technology and you jizz onto a dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At the request look of your colleague. And, yeah, and, some, and you see little creatures. Little creatures that came from you. <laughs> that's amazing. Obviously that's super interesting discovery. He couldn't keep that to himself, but he was also, there was some shame. Um, so oh, he wrote a letter to the Scientific Society of the Day didn't write down the name, um, saying basically, here's what I've found. Publish it if you want. If you think it should be destroyed, destroy it. <laughs> um, I'll never like mention it. So, again. so it was it was his jism. I believe so. I believe so, but I don't. Okay. I you know I don't have his word on that. I you don't have DNA evidence. Oh, I don't have DNA. Well, it would, I suppose it would. It would kind of be a bit fucked up to ask an intern. Well, yeah. To do it. Like, I mean, or get an animal. I mean, that stuff was definitely done later. But you've got to know you're doing it for a reason, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. What happens? Anyway, exactly. But what are they? What are these tiny, tiny wiggly bits found in 
his his own uh, effusion. All these things. Uh, uh, so his own nectar of the gods. This is um this is a list essentially in reverse Animal order. Animalcules. Gametes. Are they parasitic worms? That was a theory popular. Um, popular. That was a theory reported in the 1870s. Um, or are they tiny, fully formed animals? Um, so there are actually a couple of theories um, about animal cues. Uh, there's they like the human egg wasn't observed. Um, until a long time after this, but they Classic. seem like frogs' eggs and and things like that. So, so they had seen tiny organisms developing inside of eggs. So there was this like ovism school. There was a spermism school. Both of those schools essentially purported that yes, tiny, fully formed. People, animals, plants, whatever exist inside the seed. Um, Spermatozoan literally meaning seed of animals. Um, like, um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty certain those are Pikmin. This is a drawing from 1694. So some some proponents proponents of this theory were like less literal about it. They're not like literally tiny, perfectly formed humans. They're <laughs> everything that you need to become like like maybe at like as you see images of embryos that kind of thing was right. more what they were imagining some people uh like this this is a drawing by nicholas hartzucker i can't read my own handwriting um in 1694 much more literal representation of what that would look like but so at this point you have a number of conundrums one of which is well if you're a man and you have sperm and your sperm is men do those men have sperm and like Mm. one of the major scientific theories of the time like Descartes was still very prominent you'll have to explain who Descartes is Descartes like a, a philosopher, natural scientist in the 1600s, um, who, among many other is things... he, I think, therefore I am? He's the I think, therefore I am guy. Um, but his theory of matter was essentially that it was infinitely divisible. So that lends credence to the idea that there could be infinite tiny people in your balls. All the way down. <laughs> Just- with, Jesus, all the way down. with um, philosopher Nicholas Malbranche suggested um, is how original sin encompasses everyone because when Adam sinned he had the whole of humanity in his balls. Oh. <laughs> Wild. So that, yeah. So the theory, be, the, theory, <laughs> the, the theory is that like in someone's jism is everybody for the next 10 million years yeah wow it's yeah. kind of it's a I little mean, bit more true of like aphids <laughs> that can reproduce asexually and an aphid will give birth to a pregnant aphid so there's three generations mm. of aphids and like one <laughs> that's somebody's <game. laughs> right isn't it but um, yeah, all the way back to Adam, and and like I don't want to overgeneralize. There were lots of versions of preformationism, and free, preformationism wasn't the only, although it was a surprise. Like a, it was a popular theory at the time when people had just discovered sperm and were trying to understand what it means. Um, so there there were other more or less like this is like maybe sperm goes into a woman and then like imbues an essence to the like yeah yeah all we need all we need to take home from this is that it's jism all the way down jism all the, it's, it's sinning all the way jism down all the way down um the end of of this 
theory. Came surprisingly late, actually. There were a few hangers on for a long time of some version of this, some version of the idea that it goes all the way back. But actually, one of the like. But there's just a little person in the sperm. There's a little person. One of the final death nails to that um, idea was atomic, was like the atomic theory. So it's not it's not, not infinitely divisible. divisible. It's not possible to get small enough that these tiny, tiny people are that tiny, tiny, tiny. So when when were atoms when were atoms discovered? Great question. Ask someone else. <laughs> they haven't done the research. <laughs> <laughs> because what I, I'm potentially you know, but astounded but by <laughs> is that people were still thinking that this was plausible up until the point the atoms were discovered. <laughs> Some, yeah. Another question. Do you know how giraffes evolved? <laughs> the, you got any idea about the I rain hear system? something <laughs> about they stretched their neck and then their kids had more stretch necks than the previous ones. Must Something be true. along those lines. Don't quote me. Um, that can't be true because evolution isn't about the lived experience. It's about the genetics, isn't it? It depends who you ask. It depends what century you're in. We're all doing science over here. Okay. Can I just ask, did you draw this picture? I did draw this picture. I love it I so much. <laughs> I love it. It's and so that- cute. Why does it have hairy fires? They're trying to be toes. <laughs> oh, they're yeah, little okay. feet. They're little feet, yeah. <laughs> I thought they're they were like they're not little feet. <laughs> but they're like little pantaloons. <laughs> you know what they you know what they say about big feet? <laughs> Sinning all the way toes. down. <laughs> Sinning all the way down, yeah. <laughs> but another 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 reason that preformationism was opposed um before atoms was that when you lose jism, you are then accidentally killing many, 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 literally infinite children. So um, that has moral con Like, there's religious reasons to support this theory. There's also some religious reasons not to. Um... Although Leibniz was another, like, philosopher of the day, was a proponent of panspermism, which is basically once it's out there on the wind or whatever, it's going to first, like, it'll fertilise something if it can. There right, were... so I know I know the word panspermism from the idea of... Uh, planets being colonized across the universe mm. by life is that where that comes from like Probably. once your seed is released into the universe it will find a home i mean don't quote me but <laughs> i'm no historian of, of God, there are times there, science, but... there are times i'm glad i'm infertile <laughs> <laughs> too, too frightening <laughs> um <laughs> Glad I can't jizz into space and accidentally create an entire species. Uh, I do not know whether the experiments that some claim to have done, they actually did. But um, I don't... I mean, the word homunculus is used now. I should have had another slide about homunculus. I apologise. The word homunculus is used now. It wasn't really used at the time to describe a small fully formed person created not through male female reproduction um but through some experiment um through some other means including ejaculating into horse dung keeping it safe for about 40 days letting it mix up putting it inside a horse um feeding it with human blood for like 40 weeks or something and then you get out of town and it's a tiny person apparently legit this works i don't know who tried it i feel it. like this has been displaced from my presentation about witches and satanism because <laughs> <laughs> that shit is horrifying yeah it's like it's like it's what what 
what I love about it isn't that people had the idea, but that they claim to have done it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, I did this, it worked. No, you can't see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's, it takes all sorts of folks to make a world. Yeah. That's my uh, presentation on microscopes. Yeah, it's, it's obviously faux. Look at them. <laughs> I, I did think it was like a little like tutu or something. Ah, uh, uh, you loved it. Thinking but now that, that I thought, right? But now I love it even more thinking that it's toes. So that's okay, I think. <laughs>